All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and what you eat can help lessen your risk of various cancers. Lucas Schubert with St. Luke's Healthcare is here with a great recipe. Yep. I love these kind of recipes. You know that fall is here, too, right. when you start eating food like this. What are we making? Yeah, so we're going to make a bean and veggie chili here. So mm. really, whenever we talk about using foods for cancer prevention, we really right. want to focus on reducing and controlling inflammation. So inflammation, Which is brought about... By, uh, through all of processed foods that we're eating and different some components of sugar, that. Sugar, flour. Sugar, flour, that sort of thing. So we're wanting to include more whole foods here right. um, and really more anti-inflammatory foods, which is our, our plant-based foods, our veggies, our fruits, our beans and legumes, those sorts of things. So chili, a veggie chili is really a good way to put that together and include more anti-inflammatory foods. Well, so let's for, get started. Yeah, so we're just going to walk through the, the steps of our chili and, and go through that. So really we're going to start with some sort of oil. You can use coconut oil, olive oil, and warm that up at the bottom of your big pot that you have ready to go. And then we're going to saute some onions, some red pepper, and some garlic that we have okay. over here. And then once you get that in your pot and really ready to go, you're going to um, throw in your beans. And so beans are a really good source of fiber. And fiber is also really good for reducing inflammation, for digestive health, and all of that, again, is really important for reducing your risk for cancer. So mm -hmm. we're gonna have some different beans here. We have pinto beans, kidney beans, and black beans that we would include, but you can really include whatever you want. This adds a good, good color to everything. And we have a cup of some vegetable stock throw that in, the, in there, and then some tomatoes, uh, canned tomatoes, diced tomatoes are going to be good for that, and then a cup of some frozen corn. And really you're going to put this all together and bring it to a boil. Once it's at a boil, reduce it to a simmer, cover it with a, a lid, and let it go for about 30 to 45 minutes. And then, right before you're ready to go and ready to eat it, you're going to throw in our secret nutrient-dense uh -oh, ingredients which is our green leafy greens, our spinach or some kale. Throw in a couple cups of that. And but it's don't really put it at, at the beginning because it'll get really soggy. Right, so we want to include it right at the end so you can still have that good crunch to it and it's not soggy and, and wilty. So then we, at the end, we have our, our chili. Yep, and, oh, and so I forgot our spice You've got to have blend. the spices here. Yeah, so we have a good spice blend, which is going to be two tablespoons of cumin, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of chili powder, a uh, teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and the last quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And cinnamon? cinnamon? Uh, yeah, cinnamon has that nice, real warm flavor I didn't, to a spinach didn't think or about to cinnamon. a chili. All right, yeah. I'm going to have a little taste here. You can here. have a little taste here. I love here. chili. So, this recipe is actually part of our new Cornerstones of Fame for Cancer class, which is wow. a four week series really focused on um, individuals with cancer and their family, mm. to how to support your treatment through uh, oh, nutrition. Oh, man, that's good. All good? All right. Thank you, Lucas. Yeah, good thank job. You, Mark.